Hello, hello. Namaste and peace and blessings. Thank you so much for joining me on my yoga school virtual studio. I ask that we find our bodies in a comfortable seated pose. Any easy seat that feels good for you, may you find your position. I am relaxing in a half lotus. May you find any seat that feels good for you. As we are using our easy seat to help relax and wind down the mind and body today. Ensuring that the tummy is tight at the navel, tucked in. Spinal cord is nice and elongated, meaning we are not sunken. Having control of that body. With the shoulders relaxed downward away from the ears. This allows us to relax and soothe the upper parts of our bodies. Gazing the eyes downward or closing the eyes. As we breathe in deeply, exhale. Taking a moment to notice how the breath feels within the body. As we breathe our palms at heart center, coming into a seated prayer, maybe our thumbs are touching our sternum if that feels good for us. As we relax, silent meditation, five natural breaths. Three more breaths. As we flow our palms above our heads, coming into a seated salute, fingers flows up towards the heavens. Palms are together. As we interlace our fingers with the pointer finger pointing up, heart chakras open, chin is up, allowing the arms to slightly flow towards the back, feeling this in your lumbar spine. We're going to hold this three breaths, two breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating the palms, coming into that seated extended mountain. As our bodies twist towards the right, palms come downward towards the earth as we gaze over our right shoulder. We are in our seated twist. To go deeper in the twist, we can connect this left hand to our right knee as we gaze over that shoulder. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale back to center, coming into a seated star. Palms are out towards the side. As we twist the body towards the left, palms come downward towards the earth, gazing over that left shoulder. To go deeper, connecting that right hand to that left knee as we gaze over that shoulder. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling the body back to center, coming into that star. As we flow back to our extended mountain, palms above the head, but they are not together. Breathing our palms to our salute. Now the palms are connected. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Gaze in the eyes down, two breaths. Exhale, palms come heart center. As the eyes flutter downward, taking a moment to go in, focusing on self, seeing how we feel right here, right now, in our present moment. During our session here today, we may hear noises and sounds. We may have thoughts that cross our mind. May we take notice of what is going on around us and what is going on within us without judgment. Simply noticing and being aware. Always being kind and loving to oneself. Two more breaths. As we cross our feet at our ankles, coming into a tabletop pose, we are on our hands and our knees. Knees are hip distance apart, palms are flat on the earth. Here in our tabletop, I'm gonna drop that tummy downward towards the earth. Chin is up. You'll feel this in your lumbar spine, which is your lower back. 
This pose is good for lower back pain. We're going to hold this pose with our tummy tucked at our navel for three breaths. Two breaths. Breathe in. Exhale to cat, bringing the chin to the clavicle, spinal cord flows up towards the heavens, tucking the tummy in at the navel. Three breaths. Two breaths. Flowing back to our cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we extend our right leg towards the back, feeling that stretch. Gazing forward, tummies are tight. As we extend that left arm forward, we are in our sunbird pose. Balancing and strengthening here. For balance, if we choose, we can lower our right toes downward towards the earth. We are still in a sunbird. Whatever feels best for you. Four breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to birds. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Two breaths. Exhale into our table. Dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. Coming back to our table as we extend our left leg towards the back. Sunbird, opposite side, breathing at right arm forward. Optioning to lower those left toes downward towards the earth for balance. We can keep that leg straight to the back. Gaze forward, four breaths. Two breaths. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale, knee to elbow, feeling that crunch. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Back to bird. Knee to elbow. Flowing back to bird. Two breaths. Exhale into our table, dropping down to cow. Exhale, cat. Come into our table. As we come onto our knees, we're going to work on our camel pose. Up on our knees, placing our palms at the lower parts of our backs with our fingertips facing downward towards our buttocks. We're going to have that heart chakra open, that chin up, as we slightly lean towards the back. Your pelvic bone comes forward. <sighs> Optioning to allow your, your head to relax between your shoulder blades if that feels good. Here we are in our camel prep pose. This is great for lower back pain. If we choose, we can connect our right hand to our right heel of our foot. We are in that half camel. We can option to connect the left hand to the left heel. Now we are in that full camel. Or we can simply stay up in our half camel, whichever feels best for you. We're going to hold our camel pose. Four more breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back up to our knees. We're going to flow down to a puppy pose. Thighs all together. Buttocks is high in the air. Torso comes downward towards the earth. As we extend our arms in front of us with the palms flat on the earth, third eye chakra connects to the yoga mat. Here in our puppy pose, we're going to allow our mind and our bodies to relax and soothe. Taking a nice breath in. Exhale. Feeling the shoulder blades melt forward as the eyes gaze down the clothes. 
as we relax here, silent meditation five, natural breath. Optioning to breathe our palms together, flowing into a prayer hands. Puppies pose if that feels good. Two more breaths. Extending our palms back in front of us, palms flat on the earth. And we're going to spinal wave our bodies out of our puppy pose, using our palms to push our bodies forward, filling that spinal wave, and using our palms to wave our butt out towards our heels. And we're going to spinal wave, moving and flowing our entire spinal cord, adding the neck and head into the rotation, if that feels good. Three more breaths. Two breaths. We're going to find our pose, come into our tabletop pose, dropping down to cow. Mm. Exhale to cat. Flow into our table as we push our bodies up to our down dog, gazing at our feet. <sighs> Pushing our torso towards our thighs, feeling that nice deep stretch. Finding pause, shifting our weight forward, coming to high plank, hovering over the yoga mat. Two more breaths, tummies tight. Exhaling down to low plank or chaturanga, hovering over the yoga mat. Flowing onto our tummies, coming into a sphinx pose. This is a slight back bend. Our shoulders are relaxed away from our ears. Being mindful not to shrug the shoulders here in Spanx pose. So keeping those shoulders relaxed away. Heart chakras open, chins up. Taking nice subtle breaths here. Allowing the eyes to flutter downward or close. As we relax with three natural breaths. Two breaths. As we flow to a baby cobra, bringing our palms next to our torso, elbows are slightly bent as we push our torso slightly away from the earth. Baby cobra, chin is up. Exhaling to our cobra, straightening those elbows a little more. Torso is slightly further away from the earth. This is a slight back bend. Chin is up. Untucking those toes, exhale, up dog. Taking those thighs off the earth. Chin is up, heart chakra is open. Three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Building strength in our arms. Two more breaths. As we walk our right foot to our right hand, straightening that front leg, coming into a pyramid. Torso relaxes over that thigh, head melts down, feeling that stretch. Two more breaths. As we flow to a triangle, connecting that right hand to that right ankle, we can also use our yoga block for our triangle as we extend that left arm up in the air. Triangle pose. <sighs> We're going to hold this for three more breaths. Two breaths. As we flow to an extended side angle, we're going to bend that front knee, 
Right hand comes flat on the earth. Left arm is still extended up in the air. Extended side angle. Feeling this twist. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Holding this pose, we're going to twist our hands forward, our body forward. We're going to flow into a revolved side angle. Lifting our right arm off the earth. Left arm is now on the earth. Extending that right arm up in the air. Revolved triangle. Feeling this stretch, feeling this twist. Four breaths. Two breaths. Exhaling back forward, coming into a pyramid, straightening that front leg. Torso relaxes over that thigh. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. Walking the dog if we choose by pillowing our feet left and right. Tummies are tight as we breathe our left foot to our left hand, flowing into a triangle. I'm sorry. Flowing into a pyramid opposite side, straightening that left leg, torso relaxes over that left thigh, pyramid, feeling that stretch. Take a nice subtle breaths here, two more breaths. Flow into a triangle, connecting the left hand to the left ankle or lower part of the leg. We also can use our yoga block. As we extend that right arm up in the air, feeling that stretch triangle. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into an extended side angle, bending that front knee, dropping that hand down to the earth. Right arm is still extended up in the air. <sighs> extended side angle. Three more breaths. Two breaths. Holding this pose, we're going to twist our body forward. Both palms are on the earth. As we twist towards the thigh, revolved side angle. Left arm comes up in the air, twisting the body towards that thigh. Feeling that twist, feeling that stretch. Just keep it in mind. A pose is called a revolved pose whenever the body is twisted towards the thigh, the leg. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale back forward, pyramid, straightening that front leg. Torso relaxes over that thigh, feeling the stretch, allowing the body to relax. Two more breaths. Hmm. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. As we pedal our dog, as we walk our dog, by pedaling our feet. I'm going to find that pause, three-legged dog, right leg flows up in the air, feeling that stretch, gazing at that foot. Hmm. Breathing that right knee to that right elbow. Back to three-legged. Right knee, right elbow. Back to three-legged. Right knee, right elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog, gazing at the feet. <sighs> Walking our dog by pedaling those legs. Finding our pause, we are working our arms, three-legged opposite side. Left leg flows up in the air, gazing at that foot. Exhale, breathing that left knee to left elbow. Back to three-legged. Left knee, left elbow. Back to three-legged. Left knee, left elbow. Back to three-legged. Exhale, down dog. 
drop into our dolphin, coming onto our forearms, buttocks is high in the air as we are gazed at the back of the room. Dolphin pose is a nice headstand prep pose. Five breaths. <sighs> Optioning to pulse up and down on your toes and your dolphin if you feel good. If that feels good for you. Three more breaths. Dropping down to our knees, we're going to come into a wide-legged child's pose, allowing our torso to relax between our thighs. Torso comes downward towards the earth. Arms are extended in front of us, third eye chakra, which is our forehead. It's connected to the yoga mat. Taking a nice breath in. And exhale. Shoulder blades melt forward. Heart chakra relaxes downward towards the earth. Heart chakra is connecting to the earth. Third eye chakra is connected to the environment, to the earth. As we work on knowing and seeing, feeling and believing what is needed and what is good for us in our lives. Chakra, with our third eye chakra connected to the earth, may we use this time to go inward. Focusing on self, allowing into our lives positive change as we are willing to accept the things to flow out of our lives that are no longer needed and beneficial for us. May we allow what no longer flows to be released as we allow what is needed to be coming into our lives. As we relax here in silent meditation, child's pose for six natural breaths. Optioning to bring our palms together, flowing our hands over our head and prayer hands, if that feels good. Three more breaths. Extending our arms in front of us, palms are flat on the earth as we spiral wave our bodies out of our child's pose. Using our palms to wave our bodies forward and using our palms to wave our buttocks towards our heels. Feeling that spinal rotation, feeling that spinal wave. Moving and relaxing that spine. Two more breaths. As we find our pause at table, dropping down to calf. Exhale, cat. Flowing back to our table as we push the bodies up to down dog. Walking our feet towards our hands, complete forward fold. This is a full body stretch. You'll feel this behind your legs, here in your hamstrings, allowing that, allowing that head to melt down. Taking a nice natural breath as we feel this stretch within our bodies. Maybe hang out here for four more breaths. Um, exhaling up to half, forward fold, backs are straight, slightly gaze forward. Noticing how this feels as we yogi walk our feet slightly apart, creating that nice dance. <sighs> We're going to flow back down to a complete forward fold, maybe coming into a rag doll, connecting our hands to our elbows. Our 
alternating to rock or sway the body from side to side if that feels good. Maybe noticing that when you rock and sway, you'll feel it a little more behind your legs and your hamstrings. Just feeling that stretch, lengthening and soothing. Four more breaths, complete forward fold or rag down. Two more breaths. Mm -hmm. Exhale, half forward fold, slightly gaze forward. Breathing up to our Tadasana, our mountain pose. Palms are at our side. Feet are grounded and planted to the earth. With our palms relaxed, shoulders relaxed down. Eyes or gaze down. Taking a moment to see how we are feeling as we are standing tall and strong, firm and rooted. Rooted in who we are, rooted in who are we becoming. Being powerful, being stable, working on the root of us. Working on our core so that the world cannot break us. Working on our root so that no one can break us. Being strong within, knowing who we are, knowing our stance. Here and not to Dasna, we here and not to Dasna, and take a moment to simply focus on our power within. Four breaths. Two more breaths. As we breathe our palms above our heads and our salute, palms together, interlacing our fingers, pointed finger points up towards the heavens as our arms flow slightly towards the back, feeling this slight back bend. Three breaths. Exhaling back to center, separating the palms, coming into that extended mountain. As our bodies lean towards the right, standing side bend, feeling this side stretch in the left side, on the left side of the body. Slightly gazing up at the heavens, three breaths. Two breaths. Exhale into center. Side bend, opposite sides, feeling a stretch on the right side of the body. Gaze up at the heavens. Three breaths. Exhale and back to center, palms together. Exhale, standing prayer. Relaxing the palms down at right center. Shoulders relaxes downward. Away from the ears, slightly gazing the eyes down, taking a moment of silence to go inward. Four breaths. Lightly hanging at the hips, half forward fold. Backs to straight, gaze forward. Two more breaths. As we bend the knees, coming into a chair pose. We are in our prayer chair, or we can extend our arms in front of us, coming into that extended chair. Four breaths. Two breaths. Breathing our palms at heart center. As we twist our body towards the right, chair pose twist. Two more breaths. Exhale center. Chair pose twist, opposite side. Exhale 
exhale back to center, two breaths. Exhale, complete forward fold, allowing the torso to relax down. Take a nice subtle breath here. Walking the hands forward, breathing the feet together, down dog. Exhaling to high plank, tilting the body forward, working on building strength. Flowing down to low plank or chaturanga. Exhale onto our tummies. <sighs> Coming back into that sphinx pose. We are on our forearms. Now our shoulders are relaxed away from the ears. Chin is up, heart chakras open. Eyes are slightly flooded shut. Taking a nice deep breath in. Exhale. Allowing the body to soothe for three more breaths. Two breaths. Flow into our cobra, where our baby cobra, palms are on the earth, elbows are bent, or slightly straight. Heart chakras open, chin is up. Exhale, up dog, taking the thighs off the earth, chin is up. Breathe down dog. Dropping down to our knees, coming into a puppy pose. Thighs are together, but axles in the air. We're going to come into a prayer hands puppy pose. Three more breaths. Flowing into an extended puppy pose. Arms are in front of us, palms flat on the earth. Two breaths. Spinal wave in our bodies, out of our puppy pose, two breaths. Crossing our feet at our ankles, coming onto our buttocks and a seated pose. Just for a second as we flow onto our backs, coming into a recline position. Hugging our knees into our chest. Allowing the shoulder blades to melt back into the yoga mat. Allowing the shoulder blades to melt back into the yoga mat. Eyes are slightly gazed down as we're allowing the body to soothe here. Two more breaths. <clears throat> Extending the legs up in the air, legs on the wall as our toes point upwards towards the heavens. We are in that plantar flex ballerina's foot. Reaching our hands down to the lower parts of our legs as we breathe our legs towards our torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth, filling that legs to torso stretch. Three breaths. Two more breaths. Exhale, legs back up in the air. Toes pointed towards the heavens. As we breathe our hands and in the thighs and allow our legs to flow towards the sides, recline wide legged split or stretch. You'll feel this here in your inner thighs. Just allow the body to feel the movement here, to feel the stretch. Three more breaths. Exhaling the legs back inward, using the hands to slightly bring the legs together, 
legs on a wall, breathing our knees to our chest, keeping the knees up in the air with our feet flat on the earth. We can extend our arms out to the side like an airplane, allowing those shoulder blades to melt back and to the yoga mat. Eyes are closed or gaze down. Body and mind feel like it's floating, simply relaxing. We are light as a feather. We are just flowing with the motions of life, allowing the wind to take us as we gently steer and glide our lives to the path that we want to continue to move forward to float in like an airplane, guiding, gliding with ease. As we work on our windshield wiper holes, wiping away and moving away anything that no longer serves us, let it go, wipe it off. As we allow our knees to flow to the left and flow to the right and our windshield wiper holes. Washing away anything that is blocking our view, that is stopping us from excelling in our lives, that is causing us heartache and pain. Here in our windshield wiper pose, may we wipe it away, be gone, out of our way, so we can see clearly, so we can be clear. Four more breaths of wind wiper poses. Going as fast or as slow as we choose. Two more breaths. Finding pause at center. Breathing those knees into the chest. Hugging them in. Self-care, self-love. Hugging self. Loving self. Being there for self. Being true to self. Two more breaths. As we allow our knees to flow towards the left, recline spinal twist, left side, knees fall to the left, right arm comes out to the side like a lowercase t. We can gaze up at the heavens or we can gaze over that right shoulder. Feeling this spinal twist with our shoulder blades melted back into the yoga mat. Feeling that body continue to relax, soothe, and float. Four breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, hugging the knees into the chest. As our knees flow towards the right, recline spinal twist opposite side, feeling that spinal cord decompress. Left arm comes out to the side like a T. As we gaze up at the heavens or slightly gaze over that left shoulder, feeling that spine soothe. Feeling that spine relax with the eyes gaze down. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Exhaling back to center, breathing the knees into the chest, hugging them in. Keeping the knees up in the air, allowing the feet to flow flat on the earth. Placing our palms next to our buttocks, palms are flat on the earth. We're going to work on our bridge pose, using our feet and our hands to lift our pelvic bone upwards. We are in that pelvic tilt, lifting that pelvic bone off the earth. You'll feel the gluteus maximus, your buttocks get nice and tight. We are rounding and lifting 
that blood oxygen. To go deeper in our bridge, interlacing our hands underneath our backs, underneath our buttocks. As we walk our shoulder blades towards our spine, you'll notice your chest comes higher in the air as well as your pelvic bone. We are in that pelvic tilt. This pose is also good for those who sit in office chairs all day. We are working on tilting that pelvic forward, keeping that spine straight. Okay, we are in our deep bridge and we're gonna pulse our gluteus maximus up. We're gonna feel that squeeze, feeling that burn, pulsing it up, relaxing it back down, pulsing it up, feeling that squeeze, rounding and lifting that gluteus maximus. And we're gonna do this pulsing and squeezing or staying still with the um, gluteus maximus up nice and high for eight breaths. Rounding and lifting that buttocks. Freestyling here in our bridge pose. Optioning to flow into a three-legged bridge. Left or right side. Or simply just staying in our bridge with our gluteus maximus pulsed up nice and high. Rounding and lifting that buttocks. Four more breaths. Two more breaths. Feeling that burn, squeeze, squeeze. Exhaling out, hugging the knees to chest. <sighs> Bringing the legs up in the air, legs on the wall, pointing those toes upwards towards the heavens. Reaching the hands down to the lower parts of the legs as we breathe the legs towards our torso. Buttocks come slightly off the earth. Two breaths. Exhaling legs back up in the air. Breathing our knees to chest. Allowing our legs to come down to our Shavasana. Our rest pose. Legs are side by side. With the sides of our feet connected as we allow our feet to flow to the side like a V. Allowing that body to completely relax and sink here. Fluttering the eyes down as the mind and body relaxes. We are simply relaxing on a lake in the water on our backs. Just allowing the waves of the water to flow us around the pool or the lake. Simply noticing how it may feel to relax on our backs on a lake in the pool. But I can't do that in reality, but I can do it here in my imagination. I am hearing the water flow in my ears. I am feeling the sun gazing on my face as the waves of the water just flows my body across. As I allow it to gently move me, as I allow the sun that's gazing on my face to gently soothe me, as the sounds that I hear around me in the lake or the pool flow inwards like harmony, feeling a beat and a rhythm of my environment, relax and soothe. As we hang on to this thought, this feeling, this emotion, may we relax in silence for five natural breaths. Three more breaths.
rolling onto our side, coming into a fetal pose. Keeping the eyes gaze down or closed if that feels good. As we relax and soothe here for four more breaths. As we slowly wiggle our toes, rotating our feet at our ankles, moving our buttocks at our hips, slowly awakening that body, or we can option to stay in our fetal or reclined position if that feels good. We can stay in our shavasana in our fetal pose, or we can come to a seated pose. If we're coming to the seated pose, using that hand to push our bodies up and finding any easy seat of choice, I'm going to flow into a cow face late. As we are using our easy seat to simply just wind down our body and our minds from our practice here today. Noticing how we feel in our moments. Maybe we are sitting. Maybe we are lying down still whatever it may be, just taking a notice of how we feel, what's going on within, always being kind to self without judgment, taking notes and being aware. Listening to the silence of how we are. Listening to the calm of our mind, the peace we may feel within. Breathe in deeply. Exhale. Feeling the eyes gaze down or flutter close. As our palms come to heart center, coming into a seated prayer. Chin is slightly up. Eyes are still gaze down. Spinal cord is elongated. Shoulders relax downward away from the ears. Our chin is relaxed. Our facial muscles are relaxed. Our forehead is relaxed. Nice subtle breaths. As we use this time to thank ourselves for allowing ourselves to practice self-care here today. For in a busy, busy world, it is a beautiful thing when we find time for self. And I would like to thank you for allowing me to practice self-care with you here today. For it truly, truly is a blessing. The light in me sees, appreciates, and respects the light in you all. Namaste. Namaste, peace and blessings be to you. Thank you so much for joining me on my yoga school. Hope to see you next time. Love and light, peace and blessings. Take care. And always keep it in mind to be kind and loving and true to yourself. Have a great day. Thank you.